Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. What's happening, y'all? Star in charge, Star IP. Welcome back to another edition of Certified Star. Before I make people stars, real man, we got a new face to the channel. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Playboy Hook, Southside Tiny Rascal Gang. We in Stockton with it right now, though. Okay, okay. So uh, just kind of break down to us. How was it growing up as a child? Where you from? Like I told uh, the last, I had an interview with her. Man, we ain't talking about the last. We're talking about what we got going on. We, you know what I'm saying? What you say again? Ask the question again. I was your childhood growing up. You feel me? Rough. The normal nigga do when he grow up from a hood. You know what I'm saying? My hood diverse, so a lot of niggas be laughing because I'm kind of Asians. But that's what it is. Mm, feel that, feel that. Uh, what was your household like growing up? You have one parent, both parents? No parents, all siblings. Mm. So yeah, we ain't had no parents. We wasn't, it wasn't nice growing up. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Rough. How many of your siblings was it? You know what I'm saying? It's four boys and four girls, including me. So it's eight, eight of us all together. And our and our children. How, how far apart was y'all? We're all close. It's like um I got two under me, so it's I'm the third, third youngest. It's two other after me, a little uh my little brother and a little sister, and then I got all the rest of them older. Y'all was going to school and stuff together? No, we could not. Me and my brothers couldn't go to school together. We was getting kicked out. I was, you know what I'm saying? My brothers would get bullied and I'd be the bully breaker. Oh, you, oh so you was the older brother? Nah, I'm, uh, it's a younger brother. Okay, go. I got an older brother from Oakland. Then I got another brother from Frisco. Then me and then a younger brother after that. And all the other folks, girls. Good at all. Good at all. So, how old do you think you were when you really hopped off the course for real? Literally, uh, I'm gonna say 12, 12. I'm 24 now, so 12. I've been doing this shit for a minute. I wasn't the, I ain't gonna say I was getting kicked, I, I'll get kicked out of school, but I made sure I finished that. Feel me? What was, uh, what was you doing to get kicked out of school? Boxing is out? Fight, yeah. I, a lot of niggas don't know, bro. I really used to box, bro, and I got kicked out of Fighting on the street, niggas calling the police. You know what I'm saying niggas come too quick, too many niggas pulling up, nigga. I'm pulling out blip. That's how I go. Yeah, what, what was you fighting so much for? Like, would you take your niggas or what? What was going on? That, but I really like I told you because of my brothers. I got a brother that be joking hella like he a pretty boy, a nigga light skinned pretty boy, and that nigga would be snatching niggas and he used to roast niggas like a and niggas would get mad of course and so. Niggas try to take it there. He was hella small, so I have to step in for him. And then my youngest brother, that nigga just start hella. So he started, I finish it. That's how that. That's how that went though. You know what I'm saying them niggas start finishing. So you feel like was you like the hot head brother growing up? Like you yeah, I'm the way? only fan. I'm the out of all of my siblings, I'm the only one that really was in the streets for real. Like the rest of them one out there gang banging and hitting licks and all. They wasn't, I ain't gonna say they was hella, hella good, but they was doing, they wasn't doing what I was doing. Mm. I feel like, why you think it was different for you? What was different for you? Like I said, most of me and my siblings, the older ones is far apart from us in age, and we all got different cities. My mama used to bounce around, bro, so you know how that be. One be right here, another few family members is somewhere else, stand somewhere else, you know, it. all that you was raised at. You know what I'm saying? If I wasn't in SAC, I was in Stockton. That's for damn sure. How was, the, how was like going between the two for you? Like, what was the difference for you? Nothing like... Out here, it's like, nigga, it's easy for a nigga like me. It's easy, like... Nothing too much I gotta worry about. I mean, there's hella enemies out here, but it don't matter. Ain't nothing I can't handle. Yeah, what, uh, what schools were you going to? Bro? You could start like elementary school, middle school. I don't even know them names, bro. When I, when I, nigga, I, nigga, I got kicked out of regular school and like elementary. So every school after that was like a one school or schools in like the little juvie or the. I've been to the pen twice, so 
But I finished school, I wouldn't say early. I was supposed to have been done with that. I don't know all them one names, bro. What was your experience uh, when you was in the pen? How long did you down for? The first time, every time I went was for pistols. So, no, it was guns. So, uh, the first time I did uh, eight months, in, no, nine months in Tracy and DVI. And the second time I was in Delano and I stayed right there in reception because I ain't had that long. So I only did like a month and got booted out. I did my whole term in the county. What was your experience in there for like people that don't know how it is in the pit? Man, that's like seeing movies or you see niggas be talking about like, it's like, is it different for me when most people go down, well, we from Rascal, we run with the Asians, so it'd be like, it wasn't like how everybody was making it seem like he was gonna be, but don't nobody like jail. Well, not that I know of like jail, so I ain't like it. It wasn't too, nothing too much I couldn't handle. How did it feel for you when you had got out when you was released? Man, I was happy. The normal. It felt weird. Like, I don't know. It felt hella weird. Like, nigga, when we roll in there, it's different. When we smoke, nigga, it'd be like, nigga smoking sticks or whatever. So when I got out, nigga, smoking was too much for me. So now I only smoke a little bit. Like, I don't smoke like that because I get too high. What else did you have to adjust to, you feel me? Coming back in. These weird ass niggas. All this weird ass. On everybody want to diss and say some. And when I got out, niggas was trying to say like I snitched on somebody. I don't know who I was talking about, but yeah, that's niggas just be saying anything when a nigga start rapping or doing this thing. Anything with your name become like gullible. So niggas was trying to spread that rumor, but I had to clear that up. But that's about it. Just these weird ass niggas. That's it. Hey, uh, how do you take the backlash of being black from Asian down? Ain't really no backlash, bro. You just you do you. Like I said, rascal diverse. And like it ain't like like uh like when you a cornball ass nigga, that's when you gonna go through hell. Yeah, so you know, you know you a ass nigga or you know you boo boo or you ain't really like what you portraying to be, it's gonna be hard for you. you know what I'm saying? Ain't no faking around being real, ain't no faking around being fake gonna call your blood, especially the streets. Especially when you rapping, bro. You got a light on you that consistently stay on you. It don't go nowhere. You feel me? So. Why Why you feel like you wasn't, you didn't join a black game? What was the difference for you? Or was it just like the location you was at? Or you feel like that? The location. And plus, you don't get to, everybody don't just get to choose where they from, bro. It don't happen like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Some people get to choose, some people don't. When you grow up around a certain people, that's what it is. You don't fake and be like, oh, I'm black. I'm not gonna mess with this gang because I'm black or I'm Asian to this, that. It's diverse in hoods. Feel that, feel that. So now let's kind of get into the music. What made you start to get into the music? Uh, I don't know, bro. Because I could do it. I know how to rap. And everybody that be trying to diss a nigga or diss the rap. So that's really what made me rap. The ops being boo boo at it. I feel that. What's your opinion on this songs? And you hearing your name in songs, or you doing the same thing, vice versa? All publicity. Sometimes most, most of that publicity. I want a nigga to bring me up in the song. Cause not only is gonna hear my side of it, but they gonna get to pick and choose which side they want to be on it. What's real and what's not. Yeah, you feel like the politics get in between the music scene? Of course. Strangers turn into enemies because who they hang with. They be like that, bro. They be like that. You feel like politics and music can never be separate? Uh, I hear get the. I don't know, bro. You can't. I don't know, bro. When you if you gonna rap, you gonna rap like, like if you gonna. Whatever you put your mind to, you got to do it all the way. You can't half step what you do. So, like I said, I just be, bro. I ain't trying to be no, like I don't know, the best rapper or whatever. You know what I'm saying I just know how to rap, and that's what I'm gonna do for my side. If it goes somewhere, it goes somewhere. If it don't, it don't. I feel that. So now let's get into uh, some of the songs you dropped. You feel me? Just break down the recording process of the song, shooting the music video, and the meaning behind the song. If you want to, the first one we go into is tripping. Mm. Mm. Of course, that's what um, 
I ain't gonna say the first song that I made, but that's what song got the most attention. And like I said, that's how I came out. I don't know. The song, you know what I'm saying. What was your recording process going on? Uh, I don't, I don't remember, bro. What the f I shooting tripping? Oh, yeah, that happened. I, I, uh, first off, I wrote the lyrics, and then I just put that lyrics on the beat. I ain't, uh, like it wasn't a real process. It's you write, you write, and you go record. That's That was the process of it. I feel, let's get into your song, Spaz Out. Uh-huh. The recorder calls is not Spaz Out. Um, Spaz Out, I was off hell of sir, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know if people can hear that. I can hear it. Like, you can tell when you high. Like, right now, I'm high. Bro, but the recording process, I, I don't know, nigga. I, re, I was high, and I said I was at the studio. Matter of fact, the dude who recorded be getting in tour with that nigga because he don't like listening. And then when he see this, he gonna know who I'm talking to. But, yeah, I just had to get that nigga to do what I wanted him to say. But it came out better than what I thought it was gonna be because everybody like it. But I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, how you feel like the music scene is out here? I feel like everybody got their own lane. I don't be hating on nobody or nothing. Everybody doing their thing. That's for sure, though. It's a light on niggas doing their thing out here. I can't lie about it. But I feel like a lot of these niggas is just boo boo and fake. They for sure don't be what they portraying. But it, in rapping, I have to learn it ain't about what's real. It's about what look good. So, yeah. What's some pros and cons of being a rapper? I'm going to tell the pros is. I mean, for a lot of people, if that's what you care about, hella attention, you definitely gonna get that. If that's what you want, you definitely gonna get that. You get a lot of attention, you get a little money from it if you're doing this shit right, and you network. That's what I like about it, the networking part. You feel me? That's about it. And then the cons is everybody know you, everybody wanna find some dirt on you, everybody wanna find some about you, but not all haters are bad. So, like, like when people, you, you actually need haters, bro. Cause some haters really be fans too. That's why they become your hater. Cause when you can spend all your time hating on a certain individual, you make that your lifestyle. Shit, that's your hobby, you're a hater all the, all the way. Them the pros and cons of it. You become known if you ain't already. I feel that, what you got coming next, what should we be expecting? I told you, like, for sure, I got two projects coming. And now, I be seeing, like, when you post too much, people be screen recording everything. We're trying to do it, so I'll, I'm not going to leak nothing. I'm just going to drop the whole project, both of them. So, and then I'm going to start doing a video, so just be tuned. I feel that. What's your last thoughts you want to leave to your fans that's watching you? Man, just get ready for me, bro. I'm on my way, bro. I took a time, you know what I'm saying? That look. That little last little sentence made me take some time off, but I'm back now though, so I'm saying, just be ready for it, it's whatever. I feel that, I feel that. What's your Instagram so they can follow you? I'm saying, Playboy Hood, P L V Y B O Y H double O K. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no hate on my page yet, so if I do, y'all see it in the video, I'm gonna put it at the end of the video, but that's my Instagram. I don't got no other social media, so any fake pages or any backup page that ain't mine, I got one Instagram. So then tell them to like this video, drop a comment, and subscribe. Tap in with Star Quality NT, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Tell them to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, like what he said. Like, comment, and subscribe. I can get a nigga popping. Hashtag new bitch, wet old bitch. You can have that. Blue bills from a bad bitch with a big ass. Imagine that. I can get a nigga popping. Hashtag new bitch, wet old bitch. You can have that. Blue bills from a bad bitch with a big ass. Imagine that. I can get a nigga poppin' if you pay me No free shit, we countin' money on the daily One